right, here we go with our Commander Legends unboxing our booster. I'm eagerly awaiting this to happen. This knife probably would have been easier, but yeah. All right. Alright, Casual Daddy coming at you with our unboxing of our Commander's Legend Draft Boosters box. Now, they don't make it easy, do they? Alright. Let's get that out of the way. Definitely make it official. It's pretty neat. All right. For beginner players and whatnot. Pretty cool. All right. Like that. All right. Right, left, middle. Little middle guy. All right. Pack one. Oh, we're backwards. Sorry, I read some of the comments because, hey, I like comments. They're cheap and they're easy, just like I like my women. All right. Some of these are a blast from the past, that's for sure. Okay. Oop. Nope, that's it. Getting closer. Oh, yeah, it's going to be a nice long video. See that fall right there? That's pretty cool. <laughs> I like to enjoy it. If I'm going to spend that kind of money on a box, I want to sit there, I want to take my time, I want to read the cards. I want to enjoy it. It's not just about the rare, it's about the, the journey, not the destination. All right, here's the uncommons. Okay. That's not awful. All right, what do we got here? Okay. Wow, great for token decks. All right. Eh. Nothing major out of there. Oh, that's pretty cool full revenant though. Remember that card back from standard back in the day. Well, that's pretty neat. Oh, and that is my text message going off because I did not set my phone in airplane mode. So pack one. Our rare was the recruiter. And we got Preva and our mix for our legendaries. And Revenant for a foil. Too shabby. Now, let's keep going. But when I like to open my packs, one thing I will do is keep the commons in one pile, the rares in another, the uncommons in another, and... 
the foils in another. So, and our little tokens or any land things, I like to try to keep down there as well. So, we'll keep our foils with our rares to make it simple. So, perfect. All right. Some repeats. It's not awful. Well, that's pretty okay, but. I don't like that tapped. Not good. And a prism. Oh, that's, that's pretty cool. I like that. Wow. That is not bad at all. Like that. Okay. Pretty cool, a little partner in our foil. Comet. All right. So, once again, we got the Harvester in pack two with uh, Rev. And I guess it's Isior. Oh, that's, a, that's an interesting spelling there, but it looks like, uh, like Gizmo, but like half bat, half owl. I don't know what the hell that thing is, but it's friggin' weird. It's a Ward Wing. All right. And a Wild Heart Invoker for pack two. So, once again, we'll take our. Uncommons, put them in our little pile over here. Our rare, our two uh, uncommons, and our foil, and our token. All right, let's do another pack. Let's move this camera just a, just a smidge. Apologize for the wobbly table, but uh, Casual Daddy is lazy, so we're going to let it go. All right. Hmm, I like that. Some good combos potentially there. Okay. I like that guy. Ambush Viper, that's a favorite among fans. That's pretty cool. I like that little guy for some fetch. I'm just going to go ahead and I'm going to put these in the pile so they're kind of out of the way there. Let's work uh, smart and not hard. Do you like unblockables? That's always, always a wonderful thing. Merchant Raiders. Oh, pirate stuff. Bringing back a lot of mechanics in this uh, set I've seen so far. So, oh, Pretty cool. Expensive, though. We got a Magistrate. 
That's going to be strong in some elf decks. That is for sure. Let's see what commanders we got. Or legendaries, I should say. Eh. I do like me some Krakens. Okay. Not too bad. No. Fast deck. Hey, we got a war room. That's pretty darn good. I like that. All right. Let's go ahead and play some monocolor uh, decks for that bad boy. All right. I like it. All right. So, again, we got the magistrate. That dude. That thing. <laughs> and the foil war room. All right. All right, we are back. Our battery is running low, but we're going to keep going for the time being. Get through as many of these as we can before we'll have to charge up and continue on. All right. Monarch stuff in this set too, I've seen. Kinda like that guy. 5-4. A little expensive, but, but neat. Okay. That sounds like a Magic the Gathering boner. A Phyrexian Rager. <laughs> over here. Hey, Bambi. Alright. Always use those. Interesting. Alright, what do we got here? Okay, so essentially a uh, different type of Teferi's, a little more expensive, but that is badass. I like that. I love the uh, instant speed as well. Very cool little card. All right. Okay. Sailor of Means. Eh. Meh. Don't care about that, but that real is uh that's a pretty cool card, so I'll chalk that up as a, a small win. Again, not seeing a ton of value so far in this box, but I didn't buy it for the investment. I bought it because I love playing Commander. And I love open packs of Magic the Gathering. That is for sure. Although back when I started, our packs didn't have the rare or the uncommon or the common symbols. You just had to kind of know where they were in the pack and eventually figured it out. So a little different uh, these days. So going a little faster through our, our commons as we're starting to see some repeats and whatnot. So I'm sure that's going to get you guys excited. Get faster to that payoff. Giggity. I like Fertilid, it's a great card, Util uh, useful utility card. Alright. Yeah, alright, we'll take a command tower. Not too bad at all. Credit 1 1. Eh? Oh, 
that looks like a full art. Let's just go ahead and cover that up. <laughs> but that is a, it's a good sign. So cast down, not bad. All right, we got the monarch. Wow, that is uh, that is nasty. That is nasty. All right, well. I did want this one, so that's pretty cool. I like that card for sure. My mono black deck's gonna most likely see this, or maybe one of my combos, who knows. All right, that's neat art. Uh, okay, and let's see what we got. Oh, I was fooled, it's not a full art. Oh darn, oh well. All right, well, not, uh, again, not uh, incredibly shabby. I did get the command tower in there and some guys that I did want, so. All right, let's move on to the next. All right, we're going to go to the left. Got about 8% battery, so I think this is going to be our last pack for this filming so we can charge it up and come back. Uh, that's an oldie buddy goodie. Well, actually, it's J name Tone I'm thinking of, so I lied. It's not awful. A lot of diamonds, but they're not going to do much justice for the old diamonds, that's for sure. All right, I do like this land as well. I think it's very, very useful with the uh, the commander. So, neat pull. Always use those. That's another good, uh, good uncommon. All right, that doesn't stink either. A lot of combos with that guy. Ooh. Okay, and. We got our first mythic here. Ah, oh, see, I like this. I run a Vial Smasher Commander deck, and that casting cost is going to hurt. And I also run Thousand Faces as my partner in that deck. So that is a lot of damage, plus that bad boy on the bottom. That's uh, that's gonna be a great card for me. So nice, uh, nice pull on the mythic there. I do, uh, I do like that. So very cool. Yeah, let's see what else we got in here. Okay, a lot of elf synergy I've seen so far. Well, that's neat art. Man, elves are elves are gonna pack some punch. That's for sure. And, eh, kind of lame. Uh, cool copy token though, but not a uh, not a bad mythic. I'll definitely take it. So, all right, let's charge up this uh, this phone, and uh, we'll be back to uh, film some more in a bit. Oh, I didn't notice we got a piper in that one. Okay, all right. All right, casual daddy is back. Got some more packs to open. I am feeling the itch. We did six in the first session. Let's see how many we can get through now. Decent. All right, let's see what we got. Interesting. Okay. 
All right, it's a nice, nice little uncommon there. Very cool. Ooh, hello. That is pretty nice. Pretty nice indeed. All right. Ooh, we got some guys here. Let's see. All right. And Kadama. I like, uh, I like its reach. No pun intended that it has reach, of course. Decent card, too, for a partner. Hey, we got a rare foil. All right. Pretty neat little card. And another Piper. All right. Well, that was not too shabby of a pack. Let's keep making our uh, pile uh, bigger over here. Nice little, uh, nice little rare there, though. I like that. All right, very cool. All right. And sorted. And we are ready. So I am going to show you guys something that I found very interesting. These are the foils that I just opened yesterday. First part of the video. Look at that. So they were sitting on the table like that all night long. Just sitting down in my basement with all the other cards. None of the other cards had any problems. But, I mean, wizards, I mean, you got to do something about that. That's just... It's so bad. I mean, it, uh, it, it's pretty bad. I'd rather have a heavily played than have a card that looks like that. So, this is something I thought was kind of neat. All right. Pack eight, and I think we've gotten two mythics so far, so not bad. There's a spear. I do like that. Always useful. Wow. Okay. There's a different name for that, I guess. All right. Another mythic. Very nice. That's a that's a pretty badass little card. So that is a very 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 nice mythic. Good pull. Okay. Hey, all right. We got the turtle. Turtle. Very cool. That's one of the ones I definitely wanted. And there's our foil, which. Looks perfect, right? So that's one foil. And that's what it's going to look like tomorrow. Unreal. All right, well, let's get these guys sorted out. All right. All right, so we are eight packs in. And we have pulled uh, three mythics, so not uh, not bad. All right. I always like the art on that card. Pretty cool. All right. There we go. 
go. All right, I see a Cigna. That's a beautiful thing. Oh, wow, very nice. Yay, Cigna. Dun, dun. What is that thing? Six, seven hex proof. That's pretty neat. And, ooh, very nice. Another one. Commander, as you cast the spell, you may choose both. Wow, very cool. So another mythic. So we're now up to four mythics in nine packs. Jerry, pretty cool. I did want to pick up him. Ooh, another mythic. Oh, I take it back. I actually, I've been, I think I'm misquoting my mythics then because, yeah, it's not mythic. I'm sorry, guys. I gotta learn my colors. All right. That thing is pretty gross too. Nice pull and a dragon. So all right. So let's 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 look at our mythics really quick. I don't wanna I don't wanna screw this up. So let's get uh get our commons sorted and our uncommons and let's figure this uh bonehead call on my part out. So rare and it's another rare. All right. Well, it's an uncommon. I'm sorry. Uncommon. Uncommon. All right. So let's see what we got. Let's see if I can tell which one is the mythic. All right. There's one. And I got one earlier. I already put in my one of my decks. So actually, yeah, we did get. That's three. And the fourth one I already got. Yeah, so pretty cool. But these foils are, uh, these are just awful. And there's, they're bending the cards up pretty bad. So be aware, that was from the first pack I opened with the foil war room. So not uh, not good. I'm going to have to smash those. But we did get four uh, Mythics so far in nine packs. Uh, not bad. Uh, the other one was the nine drop that uh, the mono red. I forgot what it does. But it is nasty. All right. Let's keep going. Ah, if I can open the pack. All right, still no full arts, but uh, we got some cards to go, so. All right. There's some different commons for a change. All right, I see this guy's back. Remember that back in standard. We do need some more dinosaurs. Very cool. Nice. I like that guy a lot. I like using Imprisoned by the Moon, and I know, I know this isn't a moon, but that monarch mechanic's pretty nice. All right, I want to put these commons away the smart way this time. All right. Oh, they're a cool one. All right. Nice, very nice. All right. Oh, pretty cool. Okay. All right, let's see what the command, new potential commanders we got here. Yeah, not a big pirate guy, so that's probably getting traded. Ooh, I like that a lot. That is nice. That is a nice little partner. Cool. And I'm Blight Massacre. All right, foil, nice. And another Piper. Cool, all right, well, again, I'm liking what I see so far. I got a lot of new cards I get to kind of mess around with and play, so pretty cool. Pretty cool. Let's get these foils way out of here, though. That's just bad news. Bad news. That one. All right. oh, this one feels weird. There we go. Hopefully the weird is lucky. All right, let's see. Turn this a little bit more. There we go. All right. Rummaging Goblin, that son of a bitch. Nice.
Well, a little expensive. I mean, it's, comments kind of suck, to be honest. I mean, I know it's supposed to be a draftable thing. Maybe I'm missing the mechanics, but I'm not a fan of a lot of them. Green has definitely got some OP, I think, in this uh, set, as far as if you're drafting Commander. All right, let's see what we get here. Sorry, shaking the camera there a little bit. All right. Okay. Ooh, hello. Okay. That's pretty neat too. Probably good green, I guess. Green feel control. Colors. Oh, partners, I do like them. Glad about that. And then you know, another another foil elf card here. Hey, we got the monarch. Neat. Well, that wasn't as, as glamorous, but they can't all be winners. All right. I have to smash all those foils down. Not good. All right, let's keep going. Are we we're even? Yep. Uh, I think this might be our last pack for this edition. Uh, so for a winner. Another good staple. Here we go. I really like that card too. I mean, for one mana, can't be blocked, and you're scrying when it attacks. That's uh, that's pretty potent. Here, I, got a, I have a Zerd deck, and I think that guy is probably going to end up having to go in there. That's just too nice. All right. Another good stapler. Uh, stapler. Staple. <laughs> All right. Okay. And. Ooh. All right. We got one, another one of the lands. Very useful. Love it. I mean, we play in a pod where it's always a minimum of two or more, so um, pretty nice. I like it. Ooh, yes. I got this guy in a pack I bought at the store and uh, gave him to a buddy who runs zombies. Well, guess what? Now I got my own. Very nice. Very, very, very cool. Uncommon commander partner. Skywarden. All right. Well, so far, uh, we have not gotten a repeat on our um, legendary creatures, so very cool. All right, well, we're going to take a time out, and uh, we got a little less than half the box left. See what happens when we come back. Recap of the rares so far in this box. I think I'm about 16 or so packs in, maybe a little less. Uh, actually, maybe even more. Who knows? We'll see. Yep, we got some pretty nasty mythics. Turtle. Not too bad so far. Not too bad at all. All right, boys and girls, round three. See what casual daddy can pull tonight. All right.
a bad common. Owls in that deck, another path, very nice. Okay, seems expensive. Golem's, Golem's not awful, colorless. Revenant. All right, let's see. I don't, I don't hate that, especially in Commander. It's a decent board wipe. Who's this guy? Yeah, I we'll remember using him. Ooh, hello. I know that's been a topic of conversation for a lot of people in various commander groups. Yeah, fun little commander. All right. Because I definitely play a lot of Salamander Warriors. But All right. Let's move on. To the next. Take out, separate my rares here. And onward we go. Again, so far we're four mythics. No lotus, no mana drain. Let's hope for the best. I think by now we've pretty much seen all the uh, commons we can spare. So, victory is a little faster. Okay. Yeah. Kind of neat. Right. Really? For six? Are you fucking high? All right. Yeah, baby. Dun, 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 dun. There we go. There's some money. There's some investment rehashed. I mean, I'm going to use the shit out of it, but fuck yeah. Five mythics so far in this box. Very nice. Very nice. Okay. But nice. He's a guy I definitely wanted. Fucking awesome. That's a great pack. All right, good commander, and check it out, Foil Command Tower. That was probably my best pack so far, I think, value-wise and just overall coolness. So, pretty cool, decent pull. I'll take it. Very nice. We'll put that one to the side since I might share that with my playgroup. Keep going. Fertilid, nice. I do like that too. Yeah, I'll take another command tower. Hell yeah. I always use those. Alright. That's not too shabby. Okay. Let's need maybe for my Sissé deck. Alright. Decent for a 6-6 six, six for that cost in Commander. I like that. I like this because I play a, a Boon and I play a Xenagas, and that's a, that card's going to go great in both. So, nice pull there. And this dude. All right. Ancestral Blade for the foil. All right, so lots of uncommons. A couple rares in there. All right. So far, Casual Daddy is okay with this box. I'm not blown away by it. I didn't ex again. I didn't buy it for an investment. I bought it to play with the cards. 
Maybe get uh, my son into magic deck building by using some of the cards in this set. A lot of good mechanics and whatnot, but let's keep going. Well, that's it. Uh, we're just going to skip this pack. Fuck the, fuck the stupid, whatever you call these things, commons. There we go. All right, now we get to the, the money. All right. Hmm. Cool. All right. Decent. Oh, that's pretty cool. Probably something I'm never going to use, but still neat. Okay. Another pirate guy. You know, I'm tempted to make a pirate deck just because so many damn pirates in this set, but I don't know, I'd rather just buy a pre-con. All right. Uh, oh, that's a foil. That goes in my, I know we like seeing the bendable foils. Well, there they are. <laughs> that's, a, that's a fucking joke. All right, let's keep going here. And I believe we're sitting at five mythics so far. I'll take it. Especially because they're ones I can use. And that's the key. It's playable, playable cards. Hey, it's the Frexian Boner. All right. Okay. All right. That's not awful. And, ooh, another elf. Zombie elf. Wow. Pretty cool little encore, too. I like that. Decent, decent little elf. And let's see what else we get here. A little cascade. All right. like that in an expensive deck. It's a neat little commander. Pretty interesting art. What do we got here? Okay. Hey, we got a full art foil. Fucking about time. That is our first full art pull of the... Whoops. As I drop it of the box. I like the ability on her. Very strong in an elf deck. Etched foil is just beautiful. Nice, uh, I guess it's intentionally full art. It's just an etched foil, whatever. Semantics, but she's pretty cool. All right. I'm going to put her up there. And five mythics, one etched. I was hoping for a Xur or a Vile Smasher in this box because those are two of my favorite commanders to play. I picked up Xur on eBay. I have not picked up Vile Smasher because he's an expensive motherfucker. So let's see if we can draw one here. All right. I remember this guy from the Pass Along Your Hate decks. Okay. Not bad at all. Okay. Not uh, too excited about that one, but the art is pretty badass. Decent. All right, and we got a Kraken. We drew him earlier. All right, well... Yeah, nothing, nothing too fancy. Let's keep going. You hear that screaming in the background? That's just uh, Mrs. Casual Daddy. There's a reason I'm in the basement opening magic cards. <laughs> All right, let's keep going. Let's uh, adjust a little bit here. All right. 
Sometimes you got to adjust your crotch. Sometimes you got to adjust your camera. All right. I do like to make it. I do like anything that can make my guys indestructible. That is nice. Another great, a lot of great elf cards, man. It's hard not to make an elf deck. Look at this, back to back. I think we got this. We might have got this one before, but it's okay. All right, got him before. Yeah. Yeah, not uh, not really blowing my skirt up. Let's uh, hopefully get uh, a few packs left. Let's try to aim for one more big badass card. I think it's, it's I'm jinxed because I'm just doing this and I'm just skipping the fucking comments. But we've been through enough together. Let's get through this fast. Okay, not bad. Okay. That's an interesting dynamic right there. I do love my mono white decks. All right, let's see what we got. We got another, uh, here's the guy we were just talking about. Cool. Maybe I'll work some magic with him. We'll see. Interesting. Nice little thing there. Foil Prism. It's actually not a bad card when you think about the mana cost, but that paying once really does suck. All right, let's keep on going. That was decent. Three rares in that pack, so a little better. Getting a little better. All right, down to four. You know what, we're gonna keep it even. Skip a skip skip. All right. Fucking murders. Another dragon. The protege. All right. Let's see. Cascade. Do like. I like that. That is kind of nice. I mean, again, six mana to do it, but Flash is. Uh, Badass, use uh, somebody else's commander and just copy it. That sucker's definitely going to be going in my blue decks. So, pretty cool there. Okay. I like that too. Very nice. And the scry guy, pretty cool. All right, and we got a common foil. All right, well, some usable cards in that one. And we're down to the final three packs. All right. Whoop. Oh, so close. Still can't get it right, but whatever. It's because I'm the guy who looks at every card. What can I say? It's not uh, not awful. Remember the judges from before? Yeah, there we go. It's a nice Blasphemous Act. A very usable card in many of my decks. Could always use more of those. Pretty cool. I'll take it. All right. And I remember reading about this guy too. Interesting. And another common foil. So, so far, only one etched foil. Good amount of rares. A little disappointed about the amount of etched or even zero full art cards, but I don't even know the thing with if they're in commander or special boxes or if they're in here or whatever. I don't fucking know. But let's keep going. I'm not going to let it break my spirits. The amount of mythics we got in this box was pretty nice, so... All 
All right, not bad in a token deck. Okay. Interesting. Oh, okay. Yeah, hey, there he is. There's the good elf guy to go along with all the wonderful elves in this deck. That is a badass commander right there. Very nice. Hey, we got the horsey. Cool. Cool, cool, cool. That's a decent pack and a foil flesh bag. All right. Another very, very, very useful card in commander. All right. So, our second to last pack was not hideous. And let's see if the last one is going to be that much better. Here we go, boys and girls. All right. Hey, I actually did it right on that turn. Nice. Okay. Okay. Nero. Again, another great useful card, so I'm not going to complain about uh, about getting that because I definitely can use it and save me the cash. So, let's see what uh, commanders we got. Yes, I wanted her specifically to partner with. Uh, my um, Vile Smasher deck, so or I already, currently I have Sekshima in there, but uh, this is pretty cool too. Pretty cool too. So nice. All right, another guy I didn't have, so pretty good on the way of not getting a lot of repeats. I only saw a couple that I actually knew about, and that's another Mythic. So that makes I believe seven Mythics in this box. We'll go. We'll do a quick recap real quick so you guys can kind of see again what what rares are pulled out of this. So I'll take the my best pack. I think was probably the um, whoop, let's focus in on there. We go the uh, vampiric, the Nevernearl, and the command tower foil is probably my best pack I've gotten. So there's your your first mythic. Let's recap our rares. There's our second mythic. Again, let's focus in on here we go. That's two mythics. Three, because I already moved one out into my decks. Four mythics. Five mythics, six mythics, all right, so six mythics, one etched foil, and that, my friends, is your first box by Casual Daddy, Commander Legends. Hope you enjoyed. Casual Daddy, signing out.